welcome to another episode of GVA with Lala. So who remembers the meaning of GVA? Jeans, vibes, and I'm never. <laughs> okay, so on today's episode, I'm going to talk about that one thing you guys want to hear. That one thing you want to know. That thing that made you watch it jack more. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to be talking about <clears throat> the first day I kissed Clara me. <laughs> yes, yes, you've been asking, how do you guys think? Were you guys not horny on set, touching yourself? Nya, 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 nya. Relax, we're going to talk about it. Relax, we're going to get there. <laughs> okay, so, um, how do I start? So, you know, one of the episodes I talked about um, Kunle coming close to my face like this and threatening to kiss me the first day I met him. Yeah, so let's continue from that. Did you remember? You remember, right? You remember, right? Good, good. So, okay. So on this particular day, we're getting ready to be on set. I was, um, the mood that day was a bit somehow. So it's a thing on set. Sometimes there's a particular mood where everybody's a bit cranky because we're rushing. Set manager is shouting on set people. And Tony is probably cranky, you know, there, there was a mood. So that mood was not good. And it was the first day I was supposed to kiss him. So I was like, ah, God, what kind of mood is everybody bringing today? And one of the things that used to hurt me the most in my life is making my hair. So the makeup artist, they were making my hair. I was cranky. I was spinning me. You know, because I had to keep changing from Sharon to Mary. It was spinning me. You get, and then Kunle was in a mood. The mood was not just good for a kiss scene. I was like, ah, why is it today that me, I want to kiss? That everybody is cranky. <sighs> okay, so we're at that mood. And then I said, okay, actors on set. So they called me and couldn't let me on set. Guess what? We got downstairs and they were not ready. But you know me, I cannot complain because I'm a newbie. So Kule was already getting cranky. Are you not ready? Be calling us to come. He vexed. He went upstairs. I said, hey. Oh, no, look me, don't be angry. Come back. You know, he went upstairs. They went to call him again. Okay, we're ready now. He came back. He was still cranky. He was in his mood. So I was like, okay, here it goes. I mean, I was still in my mood because Nami no if he complained because I'm a newbie. So I was like, we're ready. I'm ready. Standing by. I'm ready. Uh, to get. So then Kule came down. So they're like, okay, actors, we're ready for you now. Let's, let's go. Let's go. So they told me I'm going to stand up from where we're sitting. So we're supposed to come. So I'm going to show you the scene. This is the scene. Yes, this scene where I came in from. So there was an escalator there. I came in from that place. Yes, yes, this is the scene. Okay, oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, wait, don't, don't, don't stop playing, stop playing. Okay, so, um, so um, that's the scene. I have to stand up to do this demonstration. <laughs> so, um, Actors on set, myself and Kunle were at that corner, that escalator corner. So we came out. So I was supposed to come out, like push him and be like, ooh, nice house. And then he'll just, you know, grab me and start kissing. So you see, before we got to that scene, yeah, Kunle and I were in a mood. So I was standing, I was standing. We are ready, we are ready. The actors, please give us three minutes, light is working. So I was just in a mood, I was just standing close to that escalator, please. And then, Kule, gang girl, just came to my face. Because I knew he was in the mood. I was like, ah, oh God, how will I come? How will I kiss this guy when all of us are cranky? So that's how baby boy came. And he was like, you know, I was standing. I was just, you know, because I was in a the mood. Then he came to my face. You know, he's a bit taller than me. He's not taller than me in Jesus' name. So, you know, he's a bit taller than me. So he came and was like, Lola, I was like, mm, Kule. He said, you know, we, this is the scene where we have to kiss, right? I said, I know, but everybody's just cranky. And so I saw him trying to move close to my face again. He was like, yeah, people watching will not understand that we're cranky, so we have to be good. So I was like, oh, so what do we do? And then he now, ah, Kule, we could make a fun romantic. Ah, ah. So, <laughs> so he came down on my face. He. So he came down my face. And you know he has done it before in one of the episodes when I told you he did that. So he came down my face and then I just looked at him like, Kunle, I know you will not do it. I know you will not kiss me without my permission. Oh, ma! Baba shook mouth in my mouth! <laughs> and we're like, mm. Hey, Jesus oh. Christ. Oh. What did be this? What did be, be this? What did be this? Jesus, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> I know, I know. I know you're saying, Noladi, are you describing kiss or touch? Well, I'm describing both. Mm. You like what you see? Mm. You, like, you like what you see? Mm. You like what you see? <laughs> what type of play is this? Anyway, your crush can kiss Sha. <laughs> Don't tell him I said it though. <laughs> he tried. Why wouldn't he not know how to kiss? Do you know Pune's career sits on kissing and touching and pressing? Me, I'm a, I'm a virgin. I don't know all these things. But yes, that was how ah, I had the mind to kiss. And then this is the gist, yeah? So you see, the moment we now started, when it was now, okay, action, call it action, and we're kissing. Do you know that? All of you backstage, yes, I will say this thing. Do you know that? Everybody backstage, they did not cut. When me and Kule finish, we say, ah, Kule say, you may make a shook this girl now. Why did you guys call cut? We kept on kissing. Mm, ah, 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 oh yeah, ah. We do everything. They should call cut because as actors, you cannot, you cannot stop acting until they call cut. They should call cut. They know Greek. It's Antony from where she was watching it because there's a monitor she watches. She was like, eh, call cut. Yeah, you wait, eh, she call mula. In English, it means call, say cut. You guys have watched this erotic thing, right? Yeah? You keep getting engrossed. That's, it was, it was crazy. So the first time we told them, you push me calling court early now. Ah, Kule say, remain to truly off all my clothes and off this girl's clothes. We agreed though that the first time they, that they will call court early. The second, because we had to shoot like three, four times. The second one was even longer than the first one. All of them were like this. You know, they were carrying camera. They were like this. <laughs> they don't go. I know they will come and drag you. They don't have to shave me, because it was really, really sensual. We, we went on. Bro, let me tell you the scariest part of that scene. Kunle carried me. Kunle did not tell me that he will carry me. One of the things I'm scared of in my life is height. Anything that takes my leg off the ground, I'm scared. Do you know, it was acting when, mm, 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 and then the next thing I just saw is, wow, wow, Kunle did that, wow. I was scared to death. That's the one thing I don't do. If I, as a guy, if you're kissing me, don't if you carry me, my mind is like, yeah, yeah, I'm scared. But because I was acting, I could not stop. I was even surprised you could carry me. Mm. Your crush is strong, Sha. Mm. Because he lifted, I was like a paper. He was even telling me I'm not heavy. He lifted me like paper. Like, because when the mood, so I was light. I was just, I was thin. So just, oh, damn. And, oh, and, I, you, and because, you know, we bow legs. <laughs> we bow legs. I clip him. So because that part where we were kissing, I was sitting at the hem of the chair. I was going all down like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I used my leg, my bow leg. You know what they say about we bow legged girls? I clip on, uh, 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 uh. You can't go nowhere, daddy. You can't go nowhere. Oh. <laughs> yes, guys, that is how the scene happened. That's the backstage gist of when I kissed Kule Remy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this gist. <laughs> I know backstage people will beat me later. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking to the end. You know I love you and you know you love Aproko like me. So, stay tuned for another episode of GVA with Lola. Gist, vibes, and I'm a boy. I remain your baby girl, Lola. And I love you. And I really like to kiss you too. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> <Bye -bye>, guys. <laughs>